I'm sure many of you are wondering how the hell these artists create 10,000 NFTs and then upload those on OpenSea? Do they draw them one by one by hand? That would take ages. Actually, some people do it that way. But the second mystery is how do you upload 10,000 NFTs one by one? I can imagine that you would be super energized with the first 10. By the 100, you will realize it's a lot of work. And by 300, you will have to continue on the following day. I'm sure that some of you already know the answer because I showed you in my previous videos how to generate and upload NFTs automatically, but I did it just for Windows and I did not show it for the Mac users. I showed that it's possible to generate many NFTs with a ready to use code without programming and I showed how to upload the ready images on OpenSea with another code. Now I will deliver it for Mac because it is slightly different. So let me get to work. Alright guys, so now I'll show you how to upload 10,000 NFTs to OpenSea if you are a Mac user. So straight to the point, the code is available on GitHub, you will find the link below the video. And once you click it, go to the green code button and click download zip. After that, you will need to install Python 3.7 or a higher version, there is a link right there so you can go to the python's page and download it the second thing to install is pip as well there is a link that will help you to install it and the next thing is to have google chrome with the google driver so the important thing here is to have the same version for both of them you can check your current chrome version if you click on chrome about google chrome and here is the version 98.0.47 something so this is my current version so let me find the very same chrome driver and uh, yep this one over here the second one is the same i will click on it and here you will need to download the chrome driver for mac here it is and i will download it now let me go to the folder where we have the code I will click on it and as well I will unzip the Chrome driver and I will copy it and I will move it to the folder assets paste. Now I will open one terminal and I will go to the directory where we have the code. Here we go and what else I will do I will install all the requirements so I will copy this code I will drop it in the terminal I will hit on enter and this will install all the packages that are needed. To run the application and all the dependencies were installed so now we are ready to upload the nfts but before that there are two important things that i need to do number one is to allow the chrome driver to open from the computer for this purpose i will go to assets this is where i have pasted the driver i will click on it and go to open with terminal and I will need to click on open which will allow the Chrome driver to open. Second thing is to copy the metadata JSON file that we have generated in the previous video. So now I'll just need to find it. I will copy it and I will paste it in the folder data. And now I am ready to start the application. And here comes the main difference when we do it on Windows and on Mac. Here in the terminal, I will need to write down Python 3 main.py and hit on enter. This is where it will ask for the MetaMask password. So let me just copy paste it. Here it is. And I will select Y to save it. And then it will ask for the recovery phrase. Now, if you guys don't feel like dropping your recovery phrase, that's understandable, but this is how it works and this is what it's needed to upload your NFTs in this way. The code is open source, so if you want to check it, you can do it at any moment. And as well, this code is on your computer, so you're not publicly giving it to anyone. 
but one more time it is your decision if you want to do it all right so the next thing it will ask me is to select the file that i want to be used for the upload and i will select number one which is the metadata json and i will hit on enter and the uploading will begin shortly so it will add the recovery phrase the password it will connect to the metamask wallet and recently OpenSea has added capture but uh, in this version of the code there is a workaround for that and uh, it is super simple just after each nft is uploaded and listed the app will open a new chrome driver and it will upload the next nft why i say it's a workaround because at the time of recording this video the capture shows on every second and tenth nft that you upload so when restarting the chrome simply the code starts again from the first nft and that's the solution that we have found for the moment all right so it works really well with the previous videos i saw many comments that uh, the code doesn't work but it actually works you have probably missed something if it doesn't work for you and at the same time OpenSea does updates all the time so we make sure to keep the code up to date just like with the capture and for the moment this is the solution we have found to avoid the capture but if we have a better solution obviously we will let you know and you can see that the second one was listed now it is uploading the third nft and it works just awesome all right so i'll stop the uploading now and what i want to show at the end of the video is how to change the duration for the listing you need to go to main py and i will open it with a text edit let me just uh, make it a little bit bigger and i will look for the exact line and here it is where it says duration you can select one month or you can change it to seven days for example and this will be the sale period or you can select any option that is available at that time from the drop down menu on OpenSea. You can select as well specific dates but you will need to comment that line and remove the comment on the line below and you will need to select a starting date and an ending date and what's important is that the maximum period is six months this is a restriction from OpenSea. all right guys pretty much that's all about it check out the links below in the description to get the code and everything needed if you have found the video useful make sure to press the like button subscribe so you'll stay tuned with the nft market all the tricks and tips that i give with the time to make your work easier. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.